So we're gonna add isopods to my springtail culture. You guys already saw me set it up. Currently what I have is all sorts of nice rotting grapes and carrots compost wise. That would become a strawberry if I actually let it sit in the sunlight. Um, have a bit of apple in there. Now springtails, they do great because they eat mold and fungus that would end up living in your vivarium. However, the other end of that equation that we're gonna use now is isopods, basically pill bugs, roly polies, potato bugs, any of that, that's a, that is an isopod. So what they do is they eat rotting vegetative matter as well as uh, the waste that your animals are gonna produce in there to help break down nutrients and make it more accessible for the plants. So the plants combined with springtails and isopods helps keep your tank clean cuts down on cleaning, which is good because frogs really shouldn't be handled that much. At least you can do it the better for them. Now I ordered just a starter kit from Josh's Frogs for isopods. What I have are white dwarf isopods. Uh, they're small enough that way they also serve another purpose too. If you can get a good population going inside your vivarium, yeah, along with the springtails, it's a constant snack source for the frogs throughout the day. So if they're feeling a little hungry and it's in between feedings, they've got something they can rely on. So, I'm just gonna add directly for a little compost. They're tiny, so I'm gonna see if I can find any way, any of them, so we can see them. There's one right there. Okay, yeah. Very tiny, little white guy. So we're just going to leave them in here, let them do their thing, and uh, just like we right now have a thriving springtail colony, hopefully we'll also end up with a uh, thriving isopod colony, and then I can start adding them when I want into the vivarium for an even healthier vivarium, which will be great. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. We post videos weekly.